Hey there, YouTube. It's Math Bowler with my biggest return, my biggest week of returns ever. Last week, the week of July 30th, 2023, I received 111 autographs from 35 people. My previous record was 108 autographs back in late 2021. I've been sending out 10 requests a week, but during the summer here, I've been doing 25 requests a week, and it really caught up last week. 111 autographs from 35 people, and I don't want this video to last longer than 13 minutes. I want to make sure this goes rather quickly. I'm going to show you all the items I received in the order of which I received them. I'll let you know how long it took, how many items I sent, roughly how often I've sent to these people in my over nine years straight of TTMing. If I send a donation, I'll let you know that, but I will not tell you addresses. Those can easily be found on SCN for 15 bucks a year or SCF for free. First up is a first timer, four of four, 61 days. Mark Mosley, I love the autograph signature, is really nice, nice autograph, and MVP, 1982 inscription. Love how these cards say All Pro, All Pro, Record Breaker, Pro Bowl, you know, just good stuff. Dang, that's a nice autograph. Next up, second time I've ever sent to this person. Three of three, 14 days, we have Rob Dressler. I already have this card signed by Just Ron Guidry. And I do believe the other time I sent Rob Dressler is when I got signed by both of them. So in any case, I'm not saying this out to anyone else. It looks good the way it does. Next returns a first timer, Vintage Football. Four of four, 11 days, Joe Scarpati, and that is his rookie. It appeared he was signing duplicates, so I sent him another one of the 1970 tops. And there it is. Next up, we have, I believe he was a Heisman winner. Heisman winner, 3 of 3, 11 days. Third, second or third time I ever sent to Mark Rozier. It was neat how he signed this at an angle. At an angle, and then very horizontal. Yeah, something different. Next up, I send to this person quite off, and I'm going to guess this is the sixth time in nine years I've ever sent to him. Five of four, as he also signed the next card in seven days. We have Jerry Moon Mullins, four-time Super Bowl winner with the Pittsburgh Steelers on his rookie card. He's right there, so I sent that card. You can see he signed it on the top. Love how you add his Moon inscription to every one of them. And there he is right here. And he signed the... Protective index card. Next up is a first timer, three of three. Also in 61 days, we have Nat Moore. It's nice to get some of those longer returns back. He has a nice autograph. Well, so did Jerry Moon Mullins. Next up is another first timer from the vintage football realm, three of three, 11 days. Oscar Roan with the John 317 inscription. Didn't have any other cards, but I did have a Cleveland the Browns checklist where his name is on there, and he signed it. Great. Next up is a first-timer. He's $5 per. Two of two, 25 days, $10 donation. We have Bill Butler. No intention of getting any other signatures on this card. But I didn't want to send just one card. I always feel cards are more protective, protected if you send two of them, so I sent the one with the trophy cup card there. Very nice. He included a... Um, Religious pamphlet here. Very nice of him to do that. Next up, first time ever, he's $5 per. This is a one of one in 14 days. I really didn't want to send in any other cards other than his rookie. We got Jose Cruz. Very cool. On the 72. Next up, this is the second or third time I've ever sent to this person. Three of three, 25 days. We have Jackie Brandt on his 59 rookie card. On the 60. And it looks like he switched it up to a thin black Sharpie for this one on the 65. Next up, this person just started charging. One for free, each additional five bucks. So I sent him two cards, $5 donation, 14 days, probably the third time I've ever got back from Dave Duncan. He was a catcher for the Athletics, but he was also a really solid pitching coach for the St. Louis Cardinals with Tony La Russa. Next up, second time I've ever sent to this person. He seems to include signed postcards a lot of times, but he's never sent one to me, and that's okay. Five of four. He also signed the next card. 25 days. We have Al Bumbry on the 75, 76, 79, 80. And on the index card, he uh, 
added a little extra there. Very nice. Next up, he's a former Pitt player, really good football player. Two of two 11 days. I sent $10. I can't remember if he has a fee or if I'm just being extra courteous to this older gentleman. Joe Schmidt. Looks great. He also seems to personalize a bit, so I didn't want him personalizing these. So the $5 per, that's a good deal. Next up, this is, I think, the third time I ever sent to this person. Three of three, 14 days. Chuck Essigen, Essigen, not exactly sure how to say it, I'm being honest. Signed in black pen on the 60, the 61, and the 63. Next up, I believe he just started charging. If not, he's worth it because I send to this guy about once a year. Three of two as he signed the index card. Seven days, $10 donation. Huge when he was a defensive coordinator for the Pittsburgh Steelers. He included the Hall of Fame inscription. We got Dick LeBone. I believe that's his second year card. Just how I believe that's his third year card. I could be wrong about that, though. Switched markers for that, and he uh, signed the index card as well. That 15 returns was all on Monday. I gotta go a little faster. Next up, this is probably the fourth time I ever sent to this person. Three of three, eight days, ten dollar donation. I sent him ten bucks, three cards. We got Roy Jarella. Next up, we have Golden Richards, who signed two of four in 12 days. Second time I ever sent to him. He used to not sign his rookie card. He'd keep it. Well, he signed the rookie card, but he didn't sign the other two cards, maybe because they're Bears cards, but that doesn't seem to be a trend. I don't know. Next up, three of four in 12 days. First time I ever sent to Tony Reed. He kept one of the cards, and that's okay. He has a nice autograph. I do not want this video to go long. Next up... Third time I ever sent to this person. I sent him three cards, $5 donation, only 15 days. We have Doug DeSenses. Yes. Next up, first time football return for me. Ever, first time I ever sending to this person, five of four as he signed the index card in 12 days. We have John Schmidt. He personalized to Steven on all four cards. And on the index card, he spelled my first name with a PH instead of a V, and that's all right. <laughs> Makes me think he signed the index card first, actually. Next up, I was so glad to get this back. First time I ever sent to him, you have to send it through his agent. He's $25 a card, but his rookie card fee increased to $40. One of one, 140 days, $40 donation, Jim Cott. This might be my favorite return of the week, which is tough to pick when you have 110 other ones. 110, 111 autographs total. Next up, fourth time I ever sent to this person, three of three, 35 days, Football Hall of Famer. We go from one Hall of Famer to another. We have Tom Mack, and he signs for free. He adds the Hall of Fame inscription, which is so stinking nice of him. Next up, second time I ever sent to Mike Krusek. He's three of three in nine days. Signed the duplicate, and on the autograph card, he added his two Super Bowl years. Next up is a Super Bowl winner with the Steelers. Five years as a running backs coach, he won... Five Super Bowls with him, but he was with the team for over 50 years between being a running back and being a coach. We have Dick Hoke. Next up, second time I ever sent to Wally Bunker, 4-4, four four, 27 days. Rushed autograph, put down a nicer autograph for the team car, and then a rushed autograph for the other two cards. Yeah, something different. Next up, second time I ever sent to Larry Seipel. He signed three of three in 13 days. Has a nice autograph. Next person, first time I ever sent to him, four of three as he signed the index card in only 14 days. I do believe, um, wait, no, this was a three of three in 14 days. I'm getting ahead of myself, Larry Schreiber. All right, now this next person is a four of three. Signing the index card in 14 days. I believe he signed a, I sent him a duplicate. We have Paul Seymour. He signed my team checklist card and the index card. Next up, first time I ever sent a Pat Richter. Four of two as he signed my index, protective index card and my note in only 14 days. Sign the index card and on my note, signed it right there. 
Sphinx Pat Richter. Next up, first time I ever sent to this person. He's five dollars per two of two, twenty-eight days, ten dollar donation, Don Buford. Next time, first time ever. Next one up, first time I ever sent to John Diaquisto. Four of four in seventeen days. I have no intention of sending this to anyone else. I just saw Michael Myers get this one back not too long ago. I love how you sign that in blue so it really sticks out. Thin blue Sharpie at that. Next time, next one up, first time I ever sent to Ray Culp. Let's get to some vintage baseball. Three of three, 17 days. Autograph is a little bit shaky, but he is strategically signing those cards. That's cool. Next up is a first timer. This is my longest return of the week. Three of two, as he signed the index card. 158 days, Harry Fanock, Fanock. Not sure how you say his name, but I really like this card, and I liked this card as well. Mike Shannon might be signed. I might be crazy. I, I Don't hold me to that. <laughs> and he signed the index card. Two more to go. This next one, I send to him a lot. He's $5 per. He's worth it. Five of four. He also signed my index card. In only five days, with a $20 donation, we got Bobby Shantz. I just bought his rookie card. Since he has a fee or a donation, I don't mind sending back to them right away. But if they were free, I would wait at least six months. But um, since I am given a donation or a fee, I don't mind sending back to him right away. So in a couple weeks, I'm going to send him his rookie card. Five of four, five days with a $20 donation. And he added his AL MVP. I believe that's a 53 Bowman? Pretty sure it's the 53 Bowman. 54, I believe, has the name right here, if I recall. 57 tops, the 58, and the 60. And he loaded up. Nice index card. Great guy. I met him at the National in 2016 in Atlantic City. Great guy. Last return, 35 returns. Here it is. Bobby Scott. First time I ever sent to him, 4 of 3 in only 16 days. He signed both of my cards. He signed the autograph card and the index card. Let me know in the comments below what was your favorite. The Jim Cott is probably my favorite with the 54 Bobby Shantz right behind him. Let me know in the comments below what was your favorite. I upload three videos a week, a TTM video on Monday, and an autograph and or training card video on Wednesdays and Saturdays. I really would appreciate it. If you